Howdy guys, Jason here. This time on Auto Edits, come on into the garage. We're gonna be spending some quality time with Large Marge. I'm gonna run you through this giant order of painless performance products. I'm gonna be replacing, as you know, the entire wiring harness. Every single wire on this Mustang is getting replaced. And I went ahead and went a little, uh, I might have got a little hopped up on the Mountain Dew and ordered <laughs> pretty much everything I think I'm gonna need to get this done. And I'm gonna show you guys how I do that. Now in this video, we're gonna do the overview and I'm gonna show you the basics of what you would need to wire your car. And then I'm gonna actually need your guys' help on a few other things. There's been some exciting um, little give and take here on these YouTube videos and I got some great ideas. So stick with me. I'm gonna lay these all out on the blue blankets and I'm gonna show you all of what we're gonna use and why and preview what we're gonna do when we do this entire install for you in an upcoming video. So check this out. There's my dog. You want me to kick that thing? Give me a sec. This right here is the painless track rocker. And what that is is the cousin to the trail rocker that I installed in the Jeep. So this right here is the painless power braid and I ordered this little box that just has a, a variety of different sizes. I did the battery relocate kit. Uh, this will help me give me the extra length that I need because the battery as you know is mounted right here in the trunk. So that helps make that a piece of cake. Fuse block right here, a three pack relay bank, the power braid install tool. Instead of having to use your hands and just kind of feed the wire in one inch at a time, this little guy, is, these are gonna be pretty handy. Ordered an actual, I've been crimping, hand crimping for a while now with the wrong tool. This is the right tool. Okay. Oh, Pinto. Pinto thinks that anytime the blue blankets are actually out, they're for her. Go get your ball. Go get, go get it. So this is the harness, the main harness that we'll consider for this thing. And now I went with the Pro Series circuit, and that's not Ford specific, but Painless has Ford specific harnesses. Of course, not for the 71 to 73, but all the way from 65 to 70. Um, but I like the Pro Circuit. It, it tends to be more GM color coded, coded, but Painless makes this, I'll show you in a minute when we get this all spread out on the blue blankets, they make this Painless? Thanks, Pinto. Pinto wants to help. Okay, so here's the basic layout of all of our components right now. Here's all the old wiring. And it's a good idea to keep your stock or the old wiring harness because you never know what connectors you might need to transfer over to the new kit. Now the battery is in the trunk of this vehicle. So I have the one gauge wire from the battery, the red wire that you see here going up to the front here, and then this will go to a connector that will energize everything you see up here. And that's basically to energize the fuse block, which is the kind of the master fuse system of the vehicle. And then we have the track rocker here, which is this little relay box, which is just a great thing. Now, if you guys haven't watched the trail rocker that I installed in the Jeep, go watch that because that's what just literally reignited me into this is the stuff that I want in the Mustang because it's just really good quality. It's a really easy install. And, and you know, what compared to this, this is the stock stuff right here. Which would you rather have? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty easy. It's a big job, but it's, e it's doable once you put your brain to it. Pinto really loves the track rocker. Again, this is the cousin to the trail rocker I have in the Jeep. This is called the track rocker because it's oriented towards you know, street vehicles. Now, I guess Pinto's gonna go ahead and we're gonna install this. I want that in the center console right above the uh, air conditioning controls. Okay, got it? Thanks, Pins. Okay, so the rest of the stuff here <clears throat> is pretty fun and pretty easy to lay out. So here's, here's the deal. I'm old, I have to wear my glasses now. Basically, you can see that you have these three main harnesses coming out of the fuse block here. And what you'll do, and this is one of the big things that is great about this kit, is that all of the wires are labeled and you'll see this one says front 
light section, and that just lets you know that that's what this section is, and this one goes to front left turn signal. So it's really as simple as that, so you just connect the dots. Just, it's easy to get overwhelmed by this, but just focus on one thing at a time. So this one would go to the front. This is a slightly shorter pigtail as you can see. So this one is the, is the, that is the indication that this is the master from the fuse block to the under dash. So you'll have all of your gauges and then you'll have a few outliers here like this purple wire. Generally in most wiring harnesses, the purple wire goes to the starter. And it says right here, from the ignition switch to the starter solenoid start. See how easy that is? It's just a matter of connecting the dots from all of these little labels make that so easy. And then this obviously would be to the tail section of the car. Let's double check, let me see. Tail section fuel pump. So it, it, it's pretty great. You watch out, watch out, there you go. And then you have all of your accessories, all of your connectors. This is the, these are the relays that we're gonna be using. And it's as simple as that in theory. Then it's just executing that and putting connectors on the ends of that stuff. And if you get in trouble, they got this handy dandy book here. All right, so this is the latest development on instruments. That's the actual technical term for what you call the gauge cluster or instrument panel. Um, what I've done since the last video where I actually kind of asked for some help or your guys' input, uh, I was going to do the Holly LCD panel, and some people suggested that I go with, or at least look at Dakota Digital. And I had, you know, I, I'm complete, always open to good advice. You guys know, when you, you guys see me in the comments, I almost always try to at least answer or give a thumbs up and a heart to most of the comments in the thing. And so I went to the Dakota Digital website and fell in love with these, 71, and here's another thing. This company actually makes something for the 73, woohoo! Uh, check this out, these are the ones I'm thinking of getting, and it's the, called their VHX series of instruments, and it literally is the shape of this thing. It will bolt right in, all we have to do is wire them up. <sighs> Thank you guys, I'm going this way. I've already been stalking and trying to figure out my order here. Here's where you guys get to help again. Help me pick the color scheme. Go to the Dakota, I'll put a link in the description. Go to the, this webpage and look at all these different options and you guys can help me pick. I'm leaning towards, now this is just again, this is, you know, I like the carbon fiber look um, or the black look. I don't think white's gonna work in this thing, but, uh, Tell me guys what you think. Go over here and check this out. I'm kind of leaning towards the black alloy with the blue, um, but uh, this is another one of those options where chime in, tell me guys what you think. But here's the deal. These things are great. They offer a combination of gauges here. Let me go in a close up here. So look at, check this out. So now I'll get my tack, I'll get a speedometer, I'll have all of my auxiliary fuel alternator, oil pressure and temp water temperature, all in the stock cluster. No building of a special panel that will have to mount in here. Now this is another thing. The stock panel that I had has been broken over the years. And so luckily I went to, I think it was Mustangs America. I think there's Corvette America, Mustang, it's all the same company and ordered a new one of these panels. It was 99 bucks. Um, and that's gonna be a very nice complement to these things here. So. How cool is this little thing? You guys helped me find this. Thank you. Help me pick what color scheme. That's the one that I'm kind of favoring now because look at that thing in the dark. Ooh, right? I mean, ooh. Here's one of the other options, the red. That's pretty handsome looking, don't you think? I mean, this is gonna modernize this thing a ton and be a really easy and Here's like the number one reason, other than the fact that this will save a ton of effort and fabrication time, this thing is right here, 795 bucks. That's less than half of the other option that I was gonna go, and, and then some. So this right here, home run, thank you guys. Help me pick a color scheme. Go to dakotadigital.com and 
help me choose, comment below. How cool is this? So that is gonna save a bunch of time, it's gonna be super cool, and that's what we're going for instruments in the Mustang. For any project of this scope or magnitude, you're gonna run into a bunch of speed bumps, and this one is no different in that respect. This is gonna be a bit of a problem. I, I'm starting to see now that I have the wiring harness out, I'm laying it out, really starting to pay attention to this, and here's what I'm finding out right now. The Terminator system that I picked for this thing does not want to play well with a boosted application. I have now come to find out that the Sniper is the proper unit that actually is designed for either a blow through or a, uh, a supercharger application like this. Now I've been in touch with the Holly tech support guys, but we're not all the way there yet. There's a little bit of guesswork still uh, here, and that's where I'm hoping that somebody out there might have had some experience with this. I mean, the internet's a big place. Uh, hopefully, if you know someone who's done this, let me know the trick here. I know that I'm gonna try to bypass the one bar manifold air pressure sensor and splice in a three bar, so I ordered that. And I'm gonna need, um, since I want the Holly EFI computer that I have here to control the ignition, I'm gonna have to figure out how to con connect this to the Holly terminal here. So I bought another pigtail. It'll just be another a matter of pinning this out, this connector out. Um, it's gonna get a little tricky, but definitely not the hardest thing I've done on this thing, it's just one of the next thing that's coming up. So those are some of the little things. You know, again, if you guys know a way to do this, help me out, uh, give me some advice. If not, we'll discover it together because we're close. We're very close now. Get a wiring harness in here, put some fluids in this thing, a little bit of plumbing, and it's a turn the key or hit the button to start it. And one more really cool feature to the Dakota instrument system that we're gonna put in here, the VHX system, is that it plays really nice with all of the Holly EFI systems. So I'm gonna put a brain in, in between the Holly EFI and the Dakota gauges and it's gonna get all of the signals from the EFI so I can still have the EFI run the engine and then we could feed that to the gauges. How cool is that? So, we're getting close. Please tune back for the how to install or how to wire your car from scratch video. That's gonna be a really, really fun one because it's gonna get this thing so close. So close you can smell it. Well, this is video, you can't smell it, but I can almost smell it. So, until next time, enjoy your drive. <sighs>